All right, I touched on this a little bit on the live on Thursday, talking about should, you know, kind of fans, you know, uh, stream about a fight. I've seen some people in the Discord talk about they might just stream the fight. I've seen people saying they might not get the fight. And I, ain't, I look at her, man, I ain't mad at it. You know, I'm going to go ahead and purchase the fight. You know, if I don't get out there and do close circuit, I go ahead and purchase the fight. You know, so that's just my stance on it. But people are not going to remember that in this video. But like I said, I don't I don't blame you if you don't stream, the, if you stream the fight. I will say that I don't blame you if you choose to stream the fight. And I'm explaining to you why. Because when we come when we come to this boxing shit, bro, we come to this boxing shit, dude. They all we always support them through uh we always support them through through their times of of need right and they treat us like trash they treat us like trash you know we we watch all they bullshit ass mismatches right um you know we support these fighters we supported this for years they allowed this fight to tear up the boxing community with lies and, and real smoke and mirrors free smoke which he ain't he ain't free smoke. He ain't the truth no more. They ain't been man down in so long. Last time I checked, Ugas did not go down. Not to my recollection. But they didn't sit here in false advertising. Now, Errol Spence want to get up there and say, well, we need y'all to support this so other fighters, you know, uh, make big fights. But then again, we support this. Y'all sucker us and y'all go back to doing the same fights that y'all was already doing. Look at Tank Davis trying to go ahead and fight Esau Cruz. So, you know, my thing is, do you believe change is really going to come? Al Heyman fought, fought against the grain to make this fight happen. You heard Errol Spence said, Errol Spence said, I, I had to get money out of my own pocket to make this fight happen. I had to get Terrence Crawford money back, so I made this fight. And I ain't mad at him saying, if I buy something, dude, I want niggas to know, hey, I bought it. I ain't winning this shit at no, at no raffle, my, my G. So I ain't mad at him saying that. But it just let you know what type of, what type of ninja Al Heyman really is. Everybody was criticizing Bob Irum for making Terrence Crawford give up, give back money to have a, a Gamboa fight in Omaha because he didn't think Terrence Crawford could sell. But Al Heyman out here offering Canelo 50 to 60 million dollars to fight Benavidez and possibly Charlo. But then you can't get you can't go in your pocket and get Crawford a couple million or two. So Errol Spence got to go in his own bag to give him a million or two dollars to make the fight happen. How do that look? How do that look? And I didn't have people reach out to me, say, you know what, CJ, man, I'm just going to buy some merch. I'm going to just donate to them and just stream it, and I'm going to get the money straight to them because I don't want to give it to Al Heyman, and I, I don't blame you. Like, see, I say, I don't hate you, shawty. <laughs> Even if you hate me, shawty, I still love you. You know, so... You know, I you know I ain't mad at you, but I ain't gonna tell you you can support that man, bro, because ain't no change gonna come. You know, you know, so, so uh, but uh. But, you know, like I said before, I can't blame you for streaming it because all they're going to do is suck you for your money and, and do the same thing. That's all they're going to do. That's all they're going to do. You know, now if you tell me they're going to, you know, like Errol Spence said, well, this going to set it off where everybody else, everybody else can, uh, can start making these fights. Cool, I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. No doubt about it. But to be quite frank, quite frank, bro, um, from the aspect of me choosing to support this fight, it's off the strength of, it's off the strength of, uh, it's off the strength of these dudes being brothers. Not just Terrence Crawford. And also, I think it's going to be a really good fight. I think it's going to be a real competitive fight. 
I like the Styles matchups. Um, I think Earl hell of a fighter, Terrence a hell of a fighter. I, I just think it's going to be a very, very competitive fight. That's just what I believe. I think the product warrants $85. But then again, you know how they do us. They chew us up and spit us out. They sit here and created this divide in boxing between black the black box community between Spencer Crawford, you know, and people anticipated this fight. What Al Heyman do? Get greedy. Bought up all the tickets allegedly, and then want to mark them up a thousand percent. Come on, then you want to mark them up a thousand percent. You know, so we can't even get in, and then when you can't move the tickets, all you do is turn around. And give it to the high rollers in the high roller rooms in the, in the MGM Grand. You 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 accommodate them with bu them bu them them perks and them bonuses. Come on, we know how it go. We know how it go. You know, but but like I said before, I want to understand why people would choose to stream this fight. Al Heyman is extremely toxic you know, to the sport of boxing. So I ain't telling you that you should or shouldn't stream the fight. I ain't telling you, I can't tell you what to do. I ain't telling you shouldn't or shouldn't buy merchandise. You should make a donation to wherever Earl Spence, you know, want his money sent or Earl, Terrence Crawford want his money sent so they directly get it and you ain't got to give it to Al Heyman. I ain't even mad at that. Because I think if this fight do big numbers, is it going to change the trajectory of what they the status quo in boxing? No. Boxing the right from every layer of boxing, from the management, the, the white collars, to the, the press, to the aficionados, they do whatever they can do to deter um fights like this from happening. If you if you ain't catching my drift, I'll explain real quick. They do whatever they can, and this ain't no knock towards him to put Chocolito number one over was Andre Ward, to put New UA number one, to put Usyk, who's a fucking heavyweight, number one. Had Usyk, you know, and I love Usyk, but had Usyk, you know, had melanated skin, the, the motherfucker won't be number one. They be talking about how boring he is. He can't punch. Let's call it what it is. For years, they've done things like this to deter black fighters from reigning supreme over the sport of boxing. To, to chop them off at the knees, to cut their career off at the knees, to put another foreign fighter who ain't fought nobody. All of a sudden, everybody a paperweight and a, and, and a flyweight fan. Most of the motherfuckers don't even know who Mark Too Sharp is. They can't name, you know, Johnny Tap. Was it Johnny Tappy? And they don't give a fuck about that shit for real. Ray Boom Boom Bansini. They ain't care shit about uh, under anything under 130. Nothing. All of a sudden, all these you know, these these writers and aficionados are fans of it. They part of the the they part of the toxic issue of black fighters. They just tired of seeing people that don't look like them not 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 being prominent. It ain't our fault that white Americans can't fight. Anybody that come close to being a white American, look how Bob and these writers push them, or 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 anybody that look different from being melanated, look how they push Lomachenko and they never push Rigondeaux. Lomachenko ain't. He exciting, but come on. He ain't shit to write home about. But the first thing they do, they get the chocolate, they get the Lomachenko's. What they do, they want to compare them to us. They're not us. Even though everybody knew Manny Pacquiao was Shady Grady. We all knew that. He was shady as hell. We all knew it. But they turned a blind eye to him being shady and tell him I'm scared of needles because I got tattoos. But he got tattoos and I don't want to take a test. Be all because they was tired of seeing brother like Floyd dominate. When you go through the eras, it's not been too many low points with a black guy in dominated boxing. Going back from Jack Johnson, Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, George, uh, George Foreman. You know, you can keep going on and on and on. Larry Holmes, Holyfield, Tyson, Riddick Bow. I'm just naming heavyweights. Lennox Lewis. You had the Klitschko era, but they wasn't buying it. So it's been a huge deterrent of, of black fighters. And that's the norm. Like, I mean, it's like the, and I hate to say that, but it's this normal human nature um, to, to envy black people. And that's cool. That's, that's part of the curse. But 
it's normal human nature. And you see the the Bulls in the 90s continue to dominate. You're like, man, damn, I hope somebody, I hope somebody knocked their ass off. Or you see the Patriots dominate in the 2000s and into the 2010s. You're like, man, I'm tired of looking at them. Unless you're a Patriot or Bulls fan, that's natural human nature. You want to see your hometown team win. So the Raphael's, and I like to, not to talk about the Pacifics, you know what I'm saying? I'm just using them as an example. The Kevin Iolis, the whole ass Jake Donovan's and stuff like that. You know, um, they want to see people that look like them. That's why a lot of people went to MMA so they could see American white fighters. So they got to stop adopting the Ukrainians and shit in the, in the, in the Filipinos and the Thai fighters. They want to see people that look like them dominate. And guess what? The UFC didn't turn into, you know, it didn't turn more melanated than boxing. All them top African fighters, you know, Nigerian descent fighters, they dominating over there. But just long story, the end of my synopsis in this video, bro, long story short, I'm supporting this fight for, for three reasons. Maybe I'll make this into a short. Reason one, off the strength of they brothers. I'm going to support that, even though Eastside Cruz, the co-feature versus some bullshit fight. I'm supporting them because it's a big celebration of black versus black fighters. Two, um, I think it's actually going to be a really good fucking fight. They style smash. It won't be no, you know, it's going to be as long as it go. It's explosive and, and, and they really good fighters. And three, I didn't invest too much time and money not to support this fight. Even if I just told to stream this fight or go to a fight party or kick back in at this fight at a titty bar or a Dave and Buster's or whatever, I bet you never heard that combination, Titty Bar David. But even if I chose to do that, I still didn't invest too much time and money into this fight. So why wouldn't I support it? So thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop the video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good313. Venmo CJ Good313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram. Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all. Peace.